Hello and welcome to this weather briefing. I'm meteorologist Dan Gregoria. We'll look at the highlights for the week ahead. Well, the inland heat continues along with humidity and this heat will peak on Tuesday. Then we'll see a gradual cooling trend, albeit subtle, uh, through the end of the week and into the weekend. And humidity levels will lower by the end of the week. We will see a return of active thunderstorm days over the mountains and deserts Wednesday and Thursday. Here's a look at the high temperatures we expect for Tuesday triple digits over the lower deserts, high deserts, and parts of the Inland Empire. And an excessive heat warning is in effect for the high deserts on Tuesday, where some areas will be 105, even a couple degrees hotter in the Apple and Lucerne Valleys. Here's a look at moisture. You see in Arizona and Baja, all that moisture is going to surge in here Wednesday and Thursday, and that's going to produce more active thunderstorms over the mountains and deserts. And then that moisture departs the area, and here we loop it again starting Monday. And in the Tuesday, the moisture increases, peaking over Southern California Wednesday and Thursday, and then you see it sliding and shifting off to the east late in the week for dry conditions then. And so the monsoon threat, we will have a slight chance of thunderstorms on Tuesday, but here Wednesday when that moisture fully entrenches into Southern California, uh, on the right you see the probability of precipitation, and you see that's the mountain and desert regions that are of concern with a moderate flash flood potential, and some of these thunderstorms could contain strong wind gusts. Thursday, pretty similar, slight lowering of the probabilities, but that moisture is entrenched and there will be scattered thunderstorms around, again, with the main concern being flash flood potential, along with strong and potentially damaging thunderstorm wind gusts. And that moisture departs Friday and through the weekend for dry conditions, which likely actually will last into early next week as well. Stay up to date with the latest forecasts on our webpage, weather.gov, and on Twitter at NWS San Diego. Have a great one.